Hey, it's Brent Smith for 21 Studios, and I just made a video for you on how to overcome a woman's shit test, and at the same time, build irresistible attraction. Check it out. Hey, it's Brent, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about one of the biggest mistakes that you're making when women are testing you. And here's one of the biggest mistakes. You think, you believe, that she's testing you or that they test you because they don't like you. And that's not necessarily true. Now, what is true is you might be a creepy pursuer. And so they might be making snide remarks or acting rude to you because you've got that wanting, desperate, over pursuing vibe. But on the other hand, she may like you. And I find a lot of times that they like you and that's why they test you. Either way, here's what they're doing. They're throwing out the test so that they can see if in fact you are as creepy as you sound or as creepy as your first opener or are you actually different than every other guy who's ever approached them so they're going to give a shit test to both a cre if you're a creepy guy and you approach or even if you might be a super cool confident carefree guy they might just throw it out there just to see and, and you well to test you right just to see you know, do you really have what it takes? You have you. So even if you have a good vibe, they might say to themselves, "Well, you know, he has a great vibe, but let's let's see if it's real or it's just a fluke. Let's see what he's actually made of and if he can follow through." So they want to see if you can follow through. So that's why they're giving you that test. So that's why it's important what you do next. So not one of the number one mistakes or one of the top mistakes is just having this limiting belief that if a woman tests you that she doesn't like you okay so remember it's it's either that she does like you and she's still just trying to even if you approach well she's trying to figure out if in fact you're for real you started off well but let's see if he can follow through or you might be creepy so either way it's just something they do uh, as a defense mechanism to filter out and you know, as they're searching for the right guy to approach them. So it's imperative uh, and uh, that you know how to, um, to overcome and push through these uh, shit tests successfully and that um, you do it with flying colors because when you do it with flying colors, you build a ton of attraction. Okay, so that's one of the biggest mistakes. Hey, it's Brent Smith for 21 Studios again. I hope you enjoyed the video. To find out more information, on how to pass any woman's shit test, just click the link.